Math can seem intimidating and overwhelming, but like anything, you can learn to be better. If you are one of those people that frequently make the aside that you are bad at math or you can't learn math, you are just making excuses for your unwillingness to properly study it. Of course, you may benefit from better lectures, better readings, a better social setting, and even better problems to help you conceptualize things. But all math is, is logical thinking. So unless you admit that you are unable to think logically, you can learn math. Admittedly, after one learns arithmetic, there are some people with a genetic capacity to process addition, subtraction, multiplication, and quotient properties more efficiently and effectively than others. But, with the advent of calculators and computers, this advantage is negligible. Now more than ever, creativity with equations and applications, dedication and discipline to prove new theorems, and the ability to communicate with the universe rule the space of mathematics. Here is the order I think one should take to acquire all knowledge of mathematics. Within each category, one should command the history, scope, notation, and examples of the topic, without necessarily mastering all possible computations. This is reserved for the mathematician that has specialized, and computers because it would be far too time consuming otherwise. The student then follows up with the study of a single application that is both complex and has a meaningful impact on the real world. After doing so, the student moves on to the next topic. This is just my informed perspective. My rank order is not necessarily the correct one, and for some it may even be less effective. But what I can assure you is, my order gives the student a deeper understanding, and hence appreciation for what mathematics really is, where it came from, how we make new discoveries, and how we can apply it to improve Humanity. Math is the language of the universe. If you imagine the universe as some living, breathing entity, we can even give this entity a name, let's call it God. Then we, along with all of the stars, planets, galaxies, civilizations, are the microbiome in the gut of God. There may even be other universes creating a vast network of different gods. If our god were to communicate with us, it cannot do so using English or Arabic or Spanish or Chinese or any other nation-state language. The intestines of god do not have a mouth and tongue to speak. But what the intestines do have is an intricately precise system of quantities that interact in order to manifest the experience we witness. If the universe is a system of quantities, and if mathematics is the study of those quantities, then math is the language of God. To deeply bond with God, one must go beyond pure mathematics, though, and begin studying physics. <laughs> 